Hello, welcome, good day, and thank you for joining. And a happy modding day to you as well. It's uh, another edition of Let's Update ModdingOpenMW.com. Come join me. And as usual, we got today's music for the stream. TR Soundtrack, Skywind, and FF6 and 7 OC Remix. Hey, Gonzo, thank you for the soundtrack, my good man. And yeah, hopefully the music isn't too loud. Let me know about that. Um, so yesterday, uh, we taught, we had a look at the MOMW Patches project. We basically created it from nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Since then, we've done a bit of extra work. Ooh, I don't even have my web browser open. I'm slacking. Hold on. We've done a bit of extra work to actually make it a legit patch collection now, um, again. So let me just get logged in here to my GitLab. And as always, <clears throat> excuse me, a big thanks to our friends at the GitLab company for graciously gifting our project an ultimate open source subscription. Um, it's too kind. I really feel humbled. All right, so yeah, we have the MOMW Patches project uh, yesterday brought to life from uh, sort of the, the where we left off, really, um, with total overhaul patches. Kind of a different theme for this. You know, it's just a assortment of patches that are useful, not specifically to any mod list. Um, of course, we use many of these on many of our lists. So, um, so yeah, since then, we've added a couple uh, old patches that we've had around for a while. And then uh, some cool new stuff, like this one by Ronic, which uh, enables the uh, soundtrack for Secrets of the Crystal City um, for 0 0.49 users. So, yeah, really neat stuff. Um... And I'm very glad that we can bring that to the table here. So, yeah. Um, also, I had mentioned possibly today writing some deploy code. Uh, I actually wrote it yesterday. Um, and that would be this right here. And uh, as I alluded to, it's just, uh, if you've ever heard of Ansible, it's the um, kind of deploy tooling that's well known. Um, just uses Ansible to set up the kind of the server environment um, so you can run the code base, right? So you can run modding OpenMW. If you wanted to run it on your website, you could um, theoretically, provided you got Python 3 and virtual env available on your system, um, you could run this you know, on your server uh, and everything you need to know is basically here kind of in a self-documenting way, right? Um, how we copy the code around this is how we interact with the database. We delete it and reset it um, under certain conditionals. And uh, yeah, I mean, so if you're really curious about how all this works, you know, it's actually kind of it's actually kind of simple. Hey, Honger, welcome. Good day. Thank you for joining again. Yeah, just going over some of the stuff I did yesterday. Uh, this code, which is what we use to kind of push the code of the website onto the server. Um, and yeah, so for the first time in almost 10 years, I updated it yesterday and, and made it available here. And uh, it's also now a part of the website code base. Um, we looked at total overall patches just a minute ago. Um, and we're gonna look at it again too because there is an issue uh, with the mod Mamea Awakened. Let's get that one open here. Mamea Awakened. <clears throat> and our friend Hudrax Kustos actually noticed, I'm sure anybody who played this mod noticed, there's a particular instance where there is a scripted rotation of the player. Um, if you're using OpenMW, you don't really know that's going on because some kind of like craziness happens and you, chances are, would glitch out uh, through the wall. It's not a good situation. We found that we could fix the problem by simply disabling the rotation, but then that kind of like cheeses the whole area. Um, so one of the things we wanted to do was replicate that patch um, that Hudrax uh, cooked up for us. And also maybe discuss kind of some approaches to not simply remove the effect but do something, I don't know, different. And the reason why we have this problem is because OpenMW has a physics implementation that's quite different from Vanilla Morrowind. Um, so I guess without further further ado, let's try to, uh, you know, check out what this problem is. We'll get my uh, minimal configuration up here. Just testing out some stuff for my fast travel mod. 
hoping to pre-2090 add random points to TR for that. Um, but for this, let's see, Mame, uh, oh, wait, here we go. And I may be mistaken, but I thought, yeah, okay, we got a patch for it right here, okay. We're going to want to make sure we edit this version of it, which is going to increase the complexity um, of editing it, but maybe not. We'll see. Maybe I can get around it. For now, we'll just look at the standalone version. We'll put that there as a reminder, though, right here. So, spoiler alert, if you've never seen this mod, probably, you know, tune out now, or skip ahead a little bit. Oh, that's right, I took the, uh, the plugin out of here. Okay, so it's gonna force our hand, let's jump to the BCOM version, which is gonna blow up because maybe... Yeah, we don't have uh, a way to beat data. Okay, let's get it. And while we're here, we're gonna need TR data. And these ESM as well. I think that'll put us in a good place. Let's see. All right. Okay, so. Let's get ourselves in there. remember exactly what cell it is so we might have to poke around here we'll start in, start in sanctum of awakening yeah and we'll turn the brightness up so we can actually see for Todd's sake my goodness okay a little bit of speed Okay, yeah, nice, okay. I love this mod. Um, but this is not the place we're looking for. Definitely not. Hey, Sophia, good morning, welcome. Thank you for joining. Um, this is, uh, we're just looking at Mamea Awakened. Um, excuse me, trying to remember where exactly is the, the, the spinny bug that Herdrax was talking about. Um, and I'm just trying to find the right cell. This is not it, but yeah, pretty neat, <clears throat> pretty neat bone structures and stuff. Uh, let's see, shrine of pitted dreams. Has to be this, right? No, no, I don't think this is it either. Hmm. Um, wow. <laughs> All right. We're going to ask our friend, open a WCS. Ah, okay, this must be the original, and I, yeah, I renamed it. Keeping it there. Just change the name so I can switch between them. Gotcha. Thank you, past me. So let's just take a look at what cells this thing, you know, adds, edits, etc. Get it, give us an idea. We'll go to world cells. We'll do modify. Uh, okay. Aha. 
it would be one of these. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, come on. There you go. Okay, yeah, this is looking more correct. So it's a room like one of these, but not quite this one. Moving on. Ooh, okay, here we go. This would be it. <clears throat> Hall of Charnel Capering, okay. Samus Serrano. Clipboard that up. Okay, in we go. Okay. And I don't, yeah, okay, I don't have TCL enabled. Am I god mode? We do want that. <clears throat> All right. I don't want to try to actually legit walk into the room so we can experience the, well, maybe I can clip myself in there and then real quick turn the clip back on so we can experience the jank. <clears throat> Looks like a fun room, all right, but I think this is it. All right. <clears throat> I think it starts when I pick this thing up. Oh, God. Ah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, so, yeah. There you have it, people. No good. What can I say? Um, so, the simple fix is... Excuse me. Let's go back into the open up WCS. And the simple fix is to, you know, disable the thing that is causing the problem. But then there's like nothing happening instead. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's kind of, you know, that's a little weak. We don't want to just totally cheese the scene, you know. There's got to be something else we can do there. I'm just not exactly sure what. forget exactly which one of these scripts it is. Let's take a guess and look at this one. No, not this one. <clears throat> I believe there's an like explicit rotate command we're looking for here. Oh, seems promising. No, but I think we're getting warmer. Attack debate. Maybe? No. <clears throat> it's been dis did I am I missing it, Sophia? <laughs> Alright, Gonzo. Hey, Hoodrax. <laughs> no worries, dude. Actually, maybe you can help me remember which script it is that has the spin. Um, if I'm not already looking at it. Spin disc. There we go. This is the one. Thank you, Sophia. Okay. <clears throat> so... We pick up that statue, right? Then the madness happens. Now, if we take a look here at the ancient 
documentation for MW script and we just take a look at the uh, rotate function here whoa whoa don't try that at home holy smokes uh, rotate <clears throat> so rotates the object along the specified world rotate world or object rotate axis at the specified number of degrees per second could that be the problem 200 degrees per second doesn't totally jive with our frame rate I wonder if we jack that down to just 30 because um, OpenMW has asynchronous physics you know um, and that might break some expectations of some of these effects right like platforms that move up and down I recall um, being somewhat problematic if like your physics FPS is way more higher or different than your actual rendering frame rate so we could just try to you know put that at 30 I don't know I think that's worth trying we'll change that to 30 and let's see if Todd blesses us eh? all right um, so let's go ahead and just make a folder for this Just activate the plugin and hope for the best. And real quick before I do that, though, let's uh, to plugin convert. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my, I think I feel a sneeze coming on. Hold on. Yikes. <laughs> okay. Wow, interesting. We only changed the one script. And I wonder if we can just get away. Or do we, is it making us? Okay. Right, okay. Because I direct edited the thing. We'll be okay with this for now, but we're going to go back and we're going to make the change as like a standalone edit so we don't have to edit all of Mameo Awakened. For now, this is fine. I'm actually going to go ahead and unstage this if my Emacs doesn't object because the stream is going. Uh, okay. I'll tell you what. Not it. Back to our config and let's see if this actually works. There's our plugin. Uh, you know what? Actually, though, because we're replacing, we don't want to load this one too for posterity. But our final result will be a patch, a proper patch, uh, not a direct edit of the whole mod. Lights, positioning. Here we go. I'm not that confident we fixed it, but I mean, hey, there's a chance. There's always a chance. Wow, hey, I mean, that looks pretty good. We may have fixed it simply by just lowering the rate of this. Hold up. Um, it could be a fluke, though, right? Like, you didn't always jank out before, so I'm afraid we're going to have to load back in and test this. But, hey, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's pretty okay. We're not janking through the walls, and the effect is still happening. You know, we're getting pushed around. Well, I think, oof, yeah, it makes this fight a bit, <laughs> yeah, it makes this fight a bit trickier. You know, when you take it away, it's like really cheeses it for sure. 
Let's go into third person just to... Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, I think we fixed it. All right, look at this. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna load back out, load back in again. We're gonna try it one more time. Uh, and then we will go in and make it a proper patch and we'll discuss what we just did. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this. Herdrax, I didn't think like we would legit fix this so easily. Uh, you know, in the beginning of this stream, I spoke about approaches, and I didn't really think the approach was make it work. <laughs> okay, let's back out and come back in. Sometimes it does just work. How about that? <laughs> now you're too kind, my friend. I am humbled. All right. We'll do this in third person even. Commence. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> cool. I think we did it. I think we did it. Okay, so... I'm just going to let this happen for a while while I talk. What we'll do now is we'll back out. We'll go back into the CS. We will make the single edit to just the loan script that will be applied on top of this mod. So we're not directly editing all of Mame Awakened. Um, and we will require Mame Awakened as a, as a master. And uh, there you go. Look at that. I even got time to contract disease while I'm testing this out. And then we'll test our, we'll do one final test of our patch with the uh, the BCOM version of the mod. Actually, taking a step back, I don't think we need to specifically target the BCOM one. I think we can just say, uh, you know, Mameo Awakened ESP is a master, regardless of which version you have. I doubt Random Pal changes the script. All right, let's go. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just... <laughs> hey, Gonzo, welcome back. Yeah, guess what? It just works, in case you missed it. Um, we fixed, actually fixed Mamea Awakened, and uh, we'll show you how. All right, back to nothing. Mm, my favorite Sasquatch theme song. No, 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 wait, we're not going to create a new one. Talking with my mouth full. So sorry. Okay. Awake and... I think that's an okay name because that's specifically what we're doing here. All right. All right. And really, we just want one script. Spin disc. And so, <clears throat> just while we were talking about this, Gonzo, I kind of had a wild thought looking at this code right here. So this is the code that handles the the effect while you're fighting these things. Um, and so looking here, it's the rotate function and reading the direction, the ancient MW script documentation for rotate. And I noticed this argument here, specified number of degrees per second. And if we go back to the CS here, 200 degrees per second seems kind of like a lot, right? <laughs> Definitely more than, you know, if you're capping your FPS or doing V-Sync or whatever, you know, probably more than, I mean, in an interior you might reasonably get that much. But anyways, it's a lot. More than you need for physics too, because OpenMW Remembering has asynchronous physics. So... Um, the magic fix was simply just take it from 200 down to 30. And effectively, the same thing still happens. You get, you know, you have a little bit of trouble during this fight. Okay, so we got the patch. Good. Let's, uh... I'm gonna keep the... I'm gonna keep the CS open. We're just gonna go ahead and... Patches, no patches...
dump it to text. What do we got? Okay, we got, and remember we don't specifically want to target the BCUM version, so we're going to go ahead and just, this, my friends, is a quick lesson in editing plugins by text. Don't want to depend on Tamriel data or OAAB data, then simply delete it. Blammo. Um, this size might be wrong. As far as I know, it doesn't have any effect. Okay. Um, since you, my friend, found the problem to begin with. Just a quick little description there of what the heck's going on. Psh, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, going back here. Let's hammer out our, our new plugin. So we got this one that the CS gave us, which is all fun and well, but uh, I don't want to use that one. Instead, I want to take Delta plugin and I want to churn out a new plugin based on this text that I just edited. <laughs> Puppet Yoda, naturally, please, Gonzo. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Beautiful. So this one would be our plugin that doesn't have the extra masters and should work with any version of Mamea Awaken to just swap in that script. Let's try it out. And we'll go ahead and use that. We require some form of Mamea Awaken now. But again, it will work with either the original or the BC1 patch one. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, just real quick. We've got the original plugin. We got our patch. Okay. Will not work without the original. Back to the game. Done this enough times, I'm starting to remember. I think that's our room. Yeah, here we go. All right. The moment of truth. Have we fixed it by way of an independent patch? And here we are again. There you have it, friends. As Todd wills it. The only thing we had to do... Uh-oh, well, this guy looks a little bit janked. <laughs> he kind of janked through the floor there a little bit. Oh, and I janked a little bit, too. Ooh. Well, we'll, uh, we'll let it sit before I declare victory, but... Yeah, I mean, I think, we fi I think we fixed it. As Todd wills it, you must please the physics gods of the engine. Um... Don't go, you know, crazy with uh, doing, you know, mo physics movements at a super high frame rate. So if you're a, if you're a mod author or a prospective mod author or a patch author, um, that's something to think about, right? When you are doing things that are fairly innocuous here. Come on now. This is fairly harmless, right? Mostly harmless. What are we even doing here? We're just rotating the player. Um, I don't think the original authors of Mamea Awakened imagined that it would cause a problem just doing it 200 times a second, like whatever, you know. Um, and maybe the effect at doing it 30 times a second, like, is different from vanilla. So there is that to think about. Um, but we just have different things to think about than the than people targeting that engine with regard to physics um, because we've got our own asynchronous custom implementation that is not really going for the glory of 
the original engine's physics. And back to here, though. Yeah, we've been, like, pushed into the corner, even, by these dudes. Let's, uh, just put me back in the middle of the room, please. All right, I think this is a success. I'm going to say ship it. Ah, all right. Yeah, thank you, everybody, for joining me on this patch journey. Look, it only took us 30 minutes to get here, too. We fixed it reasonably. I almost wonder, I don't know, should we try bumping it to 60? Is that really pushing it? I'm going to try 60. I'm just morbidly curious. I want more. All right, I'm closing the CS. We no longer need its assistance here. Okay, and I want, yeah, I want to try 60. Just to see. Uh, no. Well, why did you close the CS if you want to try 60? Well, because we can just do it this way. Check it. Okay, and then now I can see here in my get client, minus 30, plus 60. Okay, now how do we use it? Come back here. And we just, our friend Delta plugin. Once again, and there we go. Now we run the game. Why am I trying 60? If we can get away with doing more rotation, you know, to kind of make that fight a bit more spicy, I think we should. There we're going, after all, for 200 in the original mod. 30 feels a little bit on the cheese most side, but can 60 work? Here we go, moment of truth. Honestly, I don't notice any difference. It seems exactly the same to me. Um, I'll tell you what. No rotation is happening. That's for sure. Yeah, and, it, and it's thank you for the sanity check, Sophia. It's like the same thing going on here, I think. So I think we're going to go back down to 30. Um, that's exciting, though. All right. We're just cooking today. We'll go back down here. Kill that change. And if you remember from yesterday's fun, we need to go back down here and we need to update our mock MW setup. Or do I already have it? No, I don't. Okay, we need to add that into the mix. Mamea Awakened into the mix. done this a few times in the past couple of days. At one point, I was trying to be alphabetical here, but that ship has sailed. And anyway, Sector had the amazing idea of changing this into a like a, a standalone ESP generator using G7's tech. I like that idea a lot, frankly. So, we caps here? I forget. It is caps. Also, I think it requires the three, yes. Two, Docker five, come on. Excuse me. Wow. <laughs> Don't try that at home. Jeez. Fat fingering. Okay, and the last step, I 
I swear. And the actually last step. Oh my gosh, more typoing. Okay. And we try it real quick. Clicker, make, build. Image. There we go. Cool. There's our plugin, cool. Make clean all. There's our plugin, cool. Uh, <laughs> right on her, Drax. I can't disagree. And then, yeah, again, props to Sector for the idea, really. Um, for posterity. And yeah, of course, props to G7 for the, uh, <laughs> you're too kind, um, to G7 for the Rust library, right? Like, that's good stuff. Okay. Uh, 15, up and away. And then support for my, uh, my tag out okay let's check pipelines like i said my life is just all about pipelines just thinking ahead a little bit too it'd be kind of good to fire up mameo awakened in the original executable with mwse and just get like a visual of what it does there, you know, and see how close we are, at least. I'm curious. We'll wait for this one. We'll go back to the thing we were actually working on before we needed to do that thing. And uh, there's one additional change, two additional changes we'll need to make. We're going to put a read in here, as is tradition, plug it into the whole build process. But we also need to update our pipelines. Pipelines, pipelines, pipelines. Boom, there we go. Excellent. We'll go just for fun. Check the container registry. 15 tags. I like that number. Here we go. 15. Beautiful. Okay. That's ready to go. Uh, uh, we'll copy a readme in. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna call it open. We're we have the full name right here: Mamea Awakened Open MW Patch. That's what we're gonna call it. Naming is easy. Just close everything. Thank you, Emacs. Change log. This is a team effort. Oh, yeah. 
let's credit the, uh, of course, the people that inspired this all, right? Flamboyant armagers. <laughs> I love that. Okay, there's still more work to do. I know, right? It's so cool to kind of stumble upon them. Okay. Let's do the rest of the things that we need to do. Whoa, but uh, that doesn't include typoing everything. Cool. That looks good. Really, what I need to do is I need to like write some glob or regular expression that just finds all these folders, <sighs> so I don't have to like add them one by one and potentially make mistakes. I'm not doing that today. That's like a 2050, not quite 2090, not quite today, 2050. It's there. And finally, add it to the website. The website. The website. The website. Oop. Did I typo? No. Okay. And let's just quickly document it, and then we're good to go. This will work with Morrowind.exe, I would expect, right? Um, rebirth, no. Blanket, no. Okay, and then so what we want to do here is just give a small hint about load order requirements. I don't like to get too crazy here, but enough for somebody like writing MLOX rules, for example, to be able to. I like to make sure that somebody who's, whoops, jeez, typo city over here. Somebody who's making MLOX rules, for example, could read this and be like, okay, I know what to do and, and do the right thing. Because I myself, I don't do MLOX rules, but I certainly appreciate that they are done by somebody. Just put that there for fun. Oh, you know what? We got a link to fix too. Hold on.
Cool, I think it's looking good. Let's just make sure it all works. Okay. Okay, so what we're expecting to see on our little local version of the website here is we want to see the Mamea Awaken script on the readme's collection. Here we go. There it is. To do. Okay. Excellent. And then now we want to see it get pa uh, packaged. No, 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 that's not. Okay. Super slow. Uh, just OBS doing its thing to my poor potato GPU. Whoa. I don't know. Whoa. Hold on. That's wrong. Cool. Yeah, agreed, Sophia. Um, maybe we should make an issue or or put a note in our in our team channel so we don't forget. But that's a great call out. I think we should definitely. Um, I should stop being lazy and just figure out like what that process is so I can make pull requests directly. Because I think it's just all on Danae's GitHub repo. So yeah, should be easy. I have no excuse for being lazy. Eight nine. Do we have a nine patch here? No, no patch for this one. Uh, no plugin, rather. <clears throat> so ten and eleven. There we go. Man, derping up a storm. Seriously. Let's just see what we got going here. Ooh, my favorite motorcycle song. All right. Now we're cooking, except for we want to ignore that. We don't need to give people the text version of the scripts. Okay, I think that should do it. Let's try it again. We just need to, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we doing here? There we go. Just a make package this time. Still did it. Oh, sheesh. Silly me. How could I forget a backslash? What is wrong with me? There we go. Boom. <clears throat> Still in <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Oh, you know what? It's, um... not actually making a new zip.
Oops. Third time's a try. Charm. Third time is a charm. I left my glass of water in the other room and my coffee, so all I got are these berries. Which, they're pretty good. I didn't have breakfast. That's what I want to see. All right. Whoop. We don't want that. Whoops. What I tell you? Is that going to work? I just got to try this. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> Gonzo here, I think, is working on bringing some sanity to our changelog data. Hence how he noticed that. Wow, yeah. Holy Nerebar. Bye, Azura. We are crazy. We are going crazy up in here. There we go. No errant. Very nice. And I don't have to say this or that or the other one. I should honestly change. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Change the build script too. No reason to have the subder here. I actually petitioned Benjamin to uh, not do that as an option, and he was down to add it, just didn't do it yet. Also, really don't like using. I'm sorry, I don't like Matrix. I really don't like Matrix. Matrix. Coming it all. We're bringing it all together now. Here we go. I know, right? Cheers for that. I'm gonna plug in here. Suspiciously empty. Cool, yeah. I feel like Notepad Plus Plus is pretty underrated, huh? Uh oh. Hopefully, not me chewing. I'm sorry about that. Or me, like, doing something on my table. Apologies about that, Hunger. We are suspiciously missing a plug in here, though. Um. I done goofed. Hold on. <laughs> I know what happened. Whoop. There it is. I accidentally forgot to remove that. Huh. I've got okay mic. And I kind of know what I'm doing, but sometimes, not always, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so apologies about that ear. 
uh, scare there with my crap noise. All right. This should work now. What I was doing, in case you're curious about what I fixed just now, I was like putting it in the folder beneath as a, as a partial change. Do it again. We should actually see that one in here now. There it is. It shall be in the zip. I'm calling it now. Boom. There we go. Cool. Now I feel obliged to just check all of them. No plugging on that one. No plugging. Uh, whoa, nothing at all on that one. Ah, ha, ha, oh no, I screwed myself. Well, that's a big bummer. Hmm. Can I though? Hang on. Is there a way to like unexclude? Basically, is what I'm looking for here. Try without that first. Come here. Okay. Huh. What? I don't think it likes what I did. That's a problem, I, because that isn't going to work at all. We're going to have to think about that. Um, we're going to have to make some special consideration, because that format of... Uh, so what Gonzo just called out here... I'll just open up the change log. Right, exactly. Yes, you're picking up what I'm putting down. So basically, any place where we're doing like executable Python code, that's what this is, right? We got a Python file, Python code. Um, yeah, none of that magic is going to really work in the Toml. But what we can do is maybe you could like embed. It's worth trying. Maybe you can test this out on your local. <coughs> Excuse me. You can try something like the, the Django template, right? You can do like a URL mod detail. Come on. Slug to, you know, you know what I'm saying, Gonzo? We do this on like the HTML templates. You could try that. Oh, I don't think, I don't, I think I've tried this before and I don't think it's going to work. But my idea was to put that in the string that we put in the database and then render it as HTML. But yeah, it's not going to, then the Django template sauce isn't going to actually hit that. This is a tough problem. 
you may have to uh, unfortunately go back to hard coding the URLs. Um, that's the short answer for right now. Sorry. Oh no, and it broke my my. That's what I'm saying. This file is just to, so unwieldingly big. I think it just killed my Emacs. <sighs> yeah, sorry, I was in deep thought. Um, all we, all, I think, what we're gonna have to do for now, don't dive into doing this because I need to think about it some more. But hard coding the 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 link in HTML is all I can think of right now. Yeah, I gotta think about it some more. I don't want to have you sit there and change every link, you know. Yeah, ew, very ew, very ew. I don't know, my Emacs seems dead. This is a big bummer. Uh, well, here we go. Let's do this. Wow. That was really bad. So let's just jump right back into that file. Yeah, so this, what I was going to say, though, if you didn't catch that, is to try this, but it absolutely won't work, so don't try it. Um, thinking out loud, we could come up with some kind of a syntax. We could basically invent our own syntax for recognizing when, when like, something is a link we want to render. You know, we could do, like, This is just pretending now, but it would be something like this, right? Like something we could easily key, key in on that's not already used. And then, yeah, we could say, oh, okay, this is an issue we need. And and this is, you know, one, two, three, four is the number. Um, something like that is going to be the only approach we can take since we're just dealing with like raw string data that doesn't get um, loving from the Django template engine. Okay. Where were we? Ah, we were... <laughs> I screwed myself here. I did this magic. These two asterisks here say, any folder, combined with this, any folder that has a scripts folder, exclude. And I was trying to then, like, include? Um, and that wasn't working out at all. Let's go back to the zip uh, man page here. I have a feeling I was doing it wrong. way wrong. That's not even the one we want. Okay. Okay, cool. I will uh, pull it down, and we'll take a look in just a moment. So wait a minute. All right. <sighs> okay, let's go back to the man page. Maybe there's something else I'm missing. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I do a must match? Yeah, okay. Oops. No. Well, 
It's worth a try. No. <sighs> Darn. Okay. That's a bummer. All right. So... Four folders with scripts. One that we want them in. We're just going to have to, I think, exclude explicitly. Which I wanted to get away from. But I'm just... Uh, I think I'm bumping into what the zip... You know, program wants to allow me to do. Um, let's just try this one last ditch attempt. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. I give up. I didn't go down without a fight, but this is also not a hill I really care to die on. Maybe someday somebody who's more of a ninja with zip exclusion patterns can fix what I'm doing. For now, I don't care that much. Not that bad, right? Right? There we go. Let's get Gonzo's code. Oh, we got to solve this. Shoot. I don't think it'll matter. Yeah, I don't think it'll matter too much to the Tommel parser in our code. Um, but still, like, it's annoying to... <laughs> yeah, it's annoying to see this. We got we got to fix that. Um, attributes. This is one of those corners of Git that you just want to run away screaming. If you come down this dark hallway, we're going to solve this. You just copy what we're doing or maybe do the research, but be prepared to run away screaming at how terrible this whole discussion is. All right. 
I'm going to probably put a link to this in the developer's docs, but people on Windows are probably going to need to do this. Uh, not this. We don't want to globally do it. You want to do it per repository. Okay. This is what we want. Good call. Thank you, Gonzo. Our web stack friends. Of course, how could I forget? This is what we need. This is, I think, actually what we need. Text UL LF. Always convert line endings to LF on checkout. You should use this for files that must keep LF endings, even on Windows. So for context, the carriage return M's, that's the CRLF. That's the evil CRLF. And the invisible line endings that look so beautiful in here. That's the just the plain old LF. Okay. Mm, thinking we need this. Actually. Yeah. Okay. I actually have to run to the restroom. Yikes, all this coffee's coming through here. But I'm gonna play the game. Yeah, actually, let's go there. We'll go sit outside. Give you something pretty to look at. And on a related note... Yeah, seriously. This compass up there? Really nice touch. Honestly, I really, really, really love it. Alright, there we go. I shall return. Talk amongst yourselves. All right. Hey, welcome back. Herdrax, I don't know if you played Final Fantasy VII, but, uh, yeah. Good old Costa del Sol tune here. I like it. 
Okay, let's not get too distracted. We gotta finish publishing this mod, right? Yeah, it is. It's just... Just excellent. Okay. The real test here is gonna be... Can I open up this file and not get hideous Windows line endings? And then can my friends, my teammates who are on Windows, can they open it and not have any funny business on their end? I feel like this is the get attributes not working the way they should. So git config local We're going into the horrible realm of git config. Okay. Oh. All right. What I'm looking for is any explicit configuration specific to this repo for handling line endings. And what we're going to do is we are going to tell Git to do what we want it to do right here. <laughs> Rebase heaven. Yeah, that's what I... <laughs> That's what I called it after I resolved it um, with still some brokenness. So props to everybody for helping me find what I botched. Okay. Uh, auto CRLF. True. If this works, we're going to make another addendum to our get attributes file. This thing. And then I'm going to put the auto CRLF option in here. I feel like it should have worked, but the hell do I know? Okay. No. Still. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Rebase Akavir. There it is. That's what I should have called it. This here, though, this is just line ending hell. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just. Yeah. I'm, so, what I'm going to do is. Taking a step back. Let's go ahead and. Uh, no. I just added a line and saved it. Um, it did something. To every single line. I don't know what exactly. Look at this. <laughs> what is it though? They still have the... Ooh. Wait. Ooh. Maybe this is what we want. Oh, look at we got a... Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Gonzo, the genius over here. And then if I... Okay. It still has the carriage returns in it. Um, so I'm going to do this. Um, I mean, like, I can see them. You know? Oh, you know what, Gonzo? We got some... We got a couple... <laughs> Looks like uh, we got to quote all this jazz. Um, I'm going to... So, yeah, hold up. I think I can do this here. Except for this is going to take way too long. We don't got time for this. We're gonna bust out our old friend, said. No? No, 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 no. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. 
Yes, Gonzo. That is exactly what she said. <laughs> Good thing in this case, Typo didn't really do anything because I borked <laughs> said... You know, yeah, this is why I prefer to use rather than trying to like even Emacs has a good find and replace. It's not as good as this. It's, you know, it's just a fact. So we can even just do that right now and partially fix our stuff. I swear it's going to update. Cool, and this gives us a really easy way to see. Um, yeah, yeah, and so like this will need to change too. No problemo. So we got one day modernize, I heart vanilla. And that should be it. And maybe Starwind, right? So let's just do this. Oof. Yikes. Hold on. We're going to undo that one. That was no good. What did I do? Oh, uh, we got to do I Heart Vanilla before I Heart Vanilla DC. So this is where it, it's not, it doesn't just work. You got to be a little thoughtful here about this. Try it again. I don't think that's going to work either, frankly. Oh, geez, no. Yeah, that's even worse. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Let's back all this out. I goofed. Big time. Yeah, yeah, big time, big goof here. All right, so let's get to a place that's okay first off. Okay, that's okay. Now, where did we goof? I heard vanilla DC to I heard vanilla DC in quotes. I heard vanilla. Um, right, okay. Now, this is easy. Look, we just got to be a little more specific about what we're changing there we go and now we'll do another pass like this we'll change that to I don't know just for now added right and then in our uh, in our Python code we'll just have like a map That'll say it, that'll map added to the actual attribute that we want to do or, or whatever. Okay, I think this is going to work, Gonzo. Thanks for throwing this together. This is, you know, um, I think it's going to be a lot easier to maintain, right? Like, 
instead of a giant file that's like thousands of lines long, which is what we have now, we'll have this. Um, and then, yeah, as I was rebasing our master 5.x branch with our 6.x branch, it was just really tough to keep the changelog uh, Python data in order, and I think that's where I goofed the most on it. So anyways, all right, well, let's... Um, there's no doubt some stuff we missed, though, so hang on. I want to just real quick here. Let's grep for... Wow, only one. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. I can stand to just edit that by hand. We're going to do some more said magic, possibly, but... Now why is that... Okay. Ah. All right, and so this kind of stuff. Leave this as is, Gonzo. Because, yeah, we're going to have to find another way to, to do this. Um, that's not like hard coding the HTML. And if it is, if hard coding the HTML ends up being what we need to do, we can find some kind of like a find and replace pattern to do this um, automatically, hopefully. Or maybe I can... Maybe we can get clever. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. Um, but certainly, yeah, it's going to be a big drag to go through and change all of these, I think. So... Yeah, if, uh, from the olden days. Some of them are already... <laughs> just that one and then I'm gonna leave these uh, cuz yeah we got to do something I'm just not sure what thank you for the work Gonzo that's excellent I approve I like this we're gonna move towards this maybe today depending if I uh, get my act together all right uh, let's go back to the mod that we were working on though right remember that let's actually get it up and out there Wait a minute, no, I might even have a might even have a thing here that we can look at. Okay. All the folders we need are there. Plug in and read me in each one. Some of them have pictures, not all of them. Some of them have a few pictures. Cool. I think we can ship it. Let's do it. Oh, wait. Let's just make sure we have a... I know we probably already did this. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. All right, all right. goes I am really happy with how this is coming together we got some really great patches here come on GitLab give it to me thank you Pipelines, pipelines. My life is pipelines. We'll go ahead and watch this one. And let's grab ourselves a copy of the dev build.
cool. Looking good. All right. These are our patches. Awesome. Cool. Let's, uh, let's check our documentation. Make sure we're good here. I know, right? Boom. All properly documented, attributed here, attributed. Yeah, it's looking good. All right. I'm happy. Green. Green is good. I love the green. Uh, let's do a... I did a tag earlier today. Let's do beta 3. I think it's time. We will publish 3.0... Uh, once all the patches are done, we gotta finish up some of the ones that we got in here still, so not quite there yet. Okay. Yet another pipeline. I'm just all about the pipelines. And this will be our beta 3 build. Yeah, I'm glad we were able to resolve that. Preserve the functionality, I think, maybe, of the original mod. Um, not actually delete it. That's pretty cool. Oh, there we go. Upload job. Yeah, commencing. <clears throat> cool. He's done now. Get it here, folks. Beta 3. Is a wrap. I got my copy. Excellent. I don't know if there's any patches we need to add. Yeah, woo, it's a release. I don't know if there's any patches we need to add still, perhaps. Um, there's a couple Lua mods, for example, we could write. Maybe they don't need to be standalone. Um, but I, as far as all these, they're all good to go except for this one. This one still needs some work, so. Well, we could dive into that. If you like some spoilers. Maybe we could take a quick look at uh, what exactly this one does in here and try and make sure we got all the changes lined up. Let's do that. So yeah, we've really only moved one thing, this Neiman Pearl thing here. Hey, Sector, welcome. Good day. Thank you for joining. Glad you're here, man. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's get my setup good to go here, huh? Let's add both mods we care about. <laughs> Yikes, what's going on? Don't try that at home. CFG minimal. There we go. Total overhaul.
just making sure our load order is good to go. Samaris, Ancestral Tomb, then AF Rush. Right, because this is a... No. Yeah, fresh first. Yeah. And I think so. Technically, the pa that patch should come after, right? That's the way I'm going to cook it up. Again, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen either of these mods, get ready to see them. We don't even know what we're looking for, but we can find that out pretty easily. Watch. I have an idea. Oh boy. So we're opening up a whole lot of YAML here. Also, we can look at specifically what references we got in the tomb. So, we got a chest of loot that is trapped. Enemy, looks like, maybe. Big walker. Oh, no, that's a book. BK book. Another book. A few books. This thing that is a book, but not a book. So not much, actually. You have them all. Oh, excellent. You put them in the issue, probably, right? I'm derping now. Yeah, okay. Let's check it out. Thank you, Herdrax. Thank you, past Herdrax, even, for being on it. Boom. Here we go. Excellent. All right. Excellent. Ah, thank you so much, Herdrax. This makes my life easy. All right. So, taking us a while to get to it. <laughs> I am going to have to agree with this statement, by the way. Played AF Fresh a few times now. I didn't play the very latest version, though. But in the last release... um. It seemed like this was the only thing that was really going to be problematic. Um, Alright, so we're going to make a separate patch for this one. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, some place somewhere sensible near where they are. Okay, well, I mean, let's dive in, huh? Let's open it up in the CS and take a look at what the damage is. Okay. 
maybe we'll you know we'll we might do is before we launch this um we will rename we've got over here af fresh samaris ancestral tomb expanded maybe we can just rename it to af fresh patches you know and we can include the bcom one here as well and a little blurb about it um rather than having them in separate folders I could be convinced otherwise, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. CS time. No, that's game time. Here's CS time. Let's get out of here, actually. My poor, poor potato. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Gonzo. I needed that sanity check. Will do. Will do for sure. Okay. Now, um, I have already moved this one. Yeah, yeah, I think we are going to... Um, well, so um, RP has added the BCOM global variable. So if... You know, Mr. Goodall wanted to do an update and, like, check for that variable. He could, but, yeah, you know, it's probably easier just to make a patch. Okay, so we need to find this books of sand thing. So this looks pretty bad, but actually I think when you load in here, this won't be here. Yeah, there's my moved Neiman Pearl thing. This is tricky. Because I don't remember where they put the book that we're looking for. Hmm. Reasonably sure what we're looking for is actually a book, right? Oh, uh, you know what? Let's try this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's what I just opened up, Eltariel. Also, welcome. Um, we have the, so I was going to filter on object IDs here and get really desperate. Hope you're doing well today. Thank you for joining. All right, let's get the. Show me. Should be in this room, though, as Sir Drax noted. Book, right? No, we don't have that. Unfortunately. Um, that is a really great... If it's not a feature request for the CS, I mean, that explicitly needs to be requested, though. Um, and I think that's part of the problem is we have a lot of people requesting CS SE features getting them implemented, granted, but not so many people um, requesting C OpenMWCS features. We should definitely request that. It's a sensible thing to want, for sure. It would save me some time. Damn. Yeah, this stinks. It's 
it's not going to let me even... Can I zoom in on the position? No? Okay. Yeah, we got nothing. Oof. Tell you what we can do, though. Because that's basically futile and not worth pursuing anymore. We can go in there, actually. There should be an obviously misplaced thing that we can just see. Okay, so books, book of sand. Is that one of them actually? Let's see here. Whoop. Hey, look at that. This one actually just ends up being okay, I think. No? That's what I was looking for though. Um, I mean, it looks okay. Yeah, books of sand. Okay, so I... Okay, yeah, we could fix that. I don't think it is exactly... Maybe by a couple of pixels, but let's go into the CS and fix that for sure. I'll just hit the F key and we'll resolve that quickly. Um, away from the walls and there's a house of Big Walker. Okay, so there's... A there's a book, I presume. Should show up pretty nastily, I would think. If it's the one I'm thinking of. Because I did go through here before. And I saw the floaters and the, and the other nastiness. Just not remembering where. Okay, tell you what. I'm done with the shield. Uh, what's this here? Not the book we're looking for exactly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not the book we're looking for. Huh, yeah. All right, how about we try something here? Hmm? Oh, that's good thinking, Altario. We're gonna try something else here. We're gonna do something I haven't actually really done yet, which is actually run CSSE. Let's just try that. I assume there's a separate executable for that thing. Or do you just run the vanilla CS and magic happens? Okay. I gotcha. Let's try it. Come on now, where'd it go? I'm blind. Here we go. Ooh, it might be working. Yeah, look. Thank you, Herdrex. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. We've gone down this rabbit hole already, so... Let's just see what happens. <gasps> oh, I love the vanilla CS. It's so awesome. CSSE makes it way better. 
This is cool. Uh, yeah, so it preserves the usual lack of support for multiple monitors in the vanilla CS, so that's cool. I'd like to request that feature. Uh, okay. Um, I think I'm done with this. Some other time, we'll go down the CSSE rabbit hole, maybe. But now that, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, now that Herdrax has done me a solid, let's go back in there. Well, yeah, I think we've more or less proven that, hey, us Linux users, us filthy Linux users, not totally left in the dust. We got wine. We still got it. And to be fair, that couldn't be a, maybe a wine thing about multi-monitors and not necessarily the vanilla CS. Stuck in the wall, right side, next to the door in the final room. Like, really in the wall, huh? Am I at the right door? No, this not the final room. Wait, what? You kidding me? Literally in the wall. Yeah, okay, yeah, I was in the final room. Thank you. I'm derping. Mega derping. Other side. <gasps> okay. Let's go in. <laughs> yeah, right? Good eye, folks. Thanks a lot for the help. Sheesh. <laughs> We got patching to do. All right. And uh, if you're not familiar with the OpenMWCS movement, I'll just kind of ex explain what I'm doing here. Uh, a, D, S, W keys do what you might be used to them doing. <clears throat> if I want to look around, I just left click and drag the mouse, hold shift to move quickly. Ooh, thank you, Herdrex. Much appreciated. We'll get to that one in a moment. So, yeah, this is like the awkward situation we got here. I'm going to just physics drop that on the ground. Should be okay. Um, now let's move this. Whoa, whoa. Let's just move this book. My movement speed is a little twitchy. Shift and click does something else. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. This will be a little tricky to find. Son of a gun. Shoot. There it is. Whew. All right. So the question is... I think I've sh I know the answer to it is where should I put it, and I think we're just gonna slide it into here, right? Let's like just make it fit right here, huh? What do you think? I think this is fair. I think this is a fair approach. Oh, jeez, my movement is so twitched out. <laughs> now you're talking, Honger. I can tell you're a true Morrowind fan because you know how we play. Uh, you know, I think I think I, I think I not I gotta keep doing that. I think I got it, sort of. Whoops. Okay. Um. So this is not exactly like off the beaten path, right? But it is semi-hidden. So 
Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, it's just from a lack of love, you know, and the love comes in the form of developers writing code, and it also comes in the form of people using it and um, and saying what they need, right? And I think just watching me stumble through various things is right there a pretty good example of, like, things that it ought not to do. For example, oh, geez, that isn't even the right wall, is it? I don't know. Um, <laughs> thank you, Herdrax. Um so we just give it some love. We got lovely people like Sector and and others that are doing, you know, occasional work on the CS. This is not where it's gonna go. We're gonna move it yet again. Um, we just gotta be a little careful here. It will be pretty visible here, I think, you know? Jeez. Move it over there a little bit. I'm handy with the CS, but I gotta tell you, I have no idea why we're seeing both tombs overlaid on top of one another. I'm not sure what, you know, patterns Pikachu is using to implement that. Um, yeah, I'm not, that's sort of in line with what I was talking about, Gonzo. I don't know. Honger, um, what do you mean by analog input? You mean like if I was, like had a different input method aside from the mouse? Or can you clarify? I'm not sure I follow. We're just gonna. The only thing we can do really is just go in game and test it real quick. Cause yeah, I don't. I don't understand what black magics are going on here with the placement. Um, more knowledgeable people than I are gonna have to demystify it. Hey, all right. Let's see how we did. <laughs> Could have done better. So, where I had it previously actually might have been the right spot. That's an easy fix. Let's just... Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So, like, this is where... That's an excellent question, Hunger, And I feel like something like that could be really awesome, right? Like, if the if the controls for the CS were good enough that you could use, like, a gamepad, you know? Like, if we had intuitive enough snapping and transform controls, um, something like that would be really incredible. Or, like, you have, like, Zach, who's kind of, like, re-implementing the CS with Lua, which is what I said all along we should do. I'm going to leave it here, save it. Let's copy it again and see. You know, because there's plenty of builder games that you can play with a controller that have intuitive controls that don't make you want to, like, rage quit, you know. And so, yeah, it would be, it would be really great to have that kind of a feature. We have SDL, which supports game pads. Okay, what, how did I do? That's okay. That's okay. It's not perfect, though. Let's get a good look at what is not perfect about it. And we'll finish up the stream with a, a fixed book. Wait, actually, that looks okay. That actually looks okay. And it's not like... Okay, so I walk into this room, right? And I got some friends here. I got a friend, Lord Bryn, here. And then I'm checking around, and that book is, like, pretty conspicuous there. That's basically your gamepad CS. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you should plug like a quick video of your tool gun so that Honger can see. But Sector has been making like a like a, a gravity gun almost. If, like if you ever played Half Life Two, the Half Life Two gravity gun. Drop us a link, Sector, please. Um, I like this book placement. I'm gonna roll with it. We can adjust it as needed further from there. But uh, yeah, thank you, Herdrax. 
we gonna roll with it. Okay. This is beautiful. And there is another book. Yep, yep. Oh, the Fargoth cloning. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. This is great. This is exactly the kind of shenanigans I want to see. Check this out, Honger. Uh, <laughs> I love it. And and we can owe oh, thanks to the physics changes in OpenMW 0.47 that allow kind of this kind of NPC spamming to not totally kill the engine. You may recall a certain release video that demonstrates that with a mosh pit. That was my idea. Ooh, really? Oh man, that's awesome. So yeah, maybe that's the, maybe that's the answer to Honger's need here is we just implement the CS in game. No problem, right? It just works. Chocobo song, I tell you, just makes you want to dance. <laughs> yeah, they're actually, yeah, Fargoths. Everything in white welds them together. Oh man, we got to get a sector stream going on. I have to see this. All right, so let's take a look back. Gonzo brought up a good point. We still have another, the Eye of Argonia. Um, we're past time for the stream, but frankly, Smallio isn't here, and we we're supposed to like winter proof our windows and she's not here yet so let's just keep hacking huh eye of argonia okay uh is in the first room right side right after the second grave you'll see half the book stuck in the wall near the ground let's go there uh Clipping book goggles on. Oh, wait. Here we go. Okay. So, I'm going to make a guess. Just a quick guess. This would be our vanilla. This would be our modded. Put my clip goggles on here real quick. Did we do it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that would be wild if Todd was actually paying any attention to what we did here. That would be pretty wild. All right. Um, let me just make sure I'm staged that. Okay. Save my work in a way. All right. Let's get in the game and see. And that'll actually round out this patch. I think. Yeah, there you go. That's a oof. Yikes. No good. Hang on. We can do better than that. Play it safe. Okay. Ooh, I think that's Smallio actually right now. Fortuitous timing. We got windows to patch up, but first. And we move it. All right, well, I'm a little disoriented there, huh? Okay. That's a patch, folks. Um, might have a little bit of funkiness here. Nah, nah, that's good, that works. Beautiful. Yeah, we did it. That, I think, is... Let's go back to the issue here. 
this was okay, and we just moved these two. So yeah, I think we've patched Samara's Ancestral Tomb in AF Fresh Conflicts. All right, let's go ahead and make that official. That's exciting. Yeah, that's real exciting. AF Fresh is like must have pseudo official content for the game, you know? Like we can't not have that. That's it, all right. All right, and so I'm going to publish beta four for y'all so you can grab this if you want. And then, yeah, we have, I guess, one more patch to cook up. And, uh, yeah, that's just uh, fixing placement of an NPC here in Abenhart should be, yeah, no horse armor. No, no, no. Although, I frankly wouldn't mind seeing that content, you know, horse riding and stuff, just mounting. Um. So, yeah, this will be probably the final patch for the patch collection. Um, unless anything else crazy comes up, Ronick or anybody, you know, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, all right, let's go back to the list. The list. All right, patch is updated. We talked about that. We talked a little bit about the new deploy code. We patched this. We also patch for AF Rash. Actually, the, whoa, 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 fat fingering going wild here. So expanded. Yeah, I feel the same way, Sophia, right? Like, doing good. Uh, we didn't really need to deploy the website, but I'm just going to show off the fancy new Ansible stuff that I made just because. Um, and then we can check that one off. Here we go. Soon we will have this mechanism set up that so anytime somebody commits code uh, to a merge request, it will deploy the code to the website and automatically update it. For now, though, I just do this on my laptop, and there we go. Away it goes. This is, by the way, makes me chuckle. I just used it. I used this according to the documentation, and it's yelling at me about a deprecation warning. This is why I don't like software, folks. Here it goes. Delete the database, reset the database. And so this takes about five minutes to crunch with the new uh, SQLite setup. Um, but yeah, I mean, there you go. In a couple of minutes, the beta will be fresh and updated with whatever we put on there. So yeah, feels good. Whoops. Okay, uh, it's another 100% day. I thank you so much for joining. Have a lovely day. Happy modding. And I will see you on the next stream next week. Cheers. <laughs>